Hi guys, welcome back with my news video. In this tutorial, I will just show you how to create structures in Microsoft Word. So you see that that is my example here, and I will create like this example. Okay, let's start practice all together. Right now, I open a new document, and next I need to change the purpose to the landscape. I click on layout. Next, click on orientation, and click landscape purpose. The result is mean that the paper will change to the landscape. Next, I need to have the list name before I create a structure. So this is the list of name that I want to create a structure. And I want to explain you that the Anjatra, his position is manager, and Soisemnang, Honpom, Patpier, and Patpulin is line manager. So now I highlight their name is red color. Okay, so I highlight ready. So next, so now I need to prepare. To the structure of this list name. So first, I click on line manager is a source name, and next, I click on home, and click on increase Indian. Now I do it one by one. The same first line manager, and after I will to prepare the stuff of the line manager. So I need to do like that of any line manager. So for example, source name there are three stuff. So first, click on three stuff, and next click on increase Indian two time. You need to do all stuff like this. Okay. And next, I was to create a bullet of list name. So first, I select all list name here, and next click on bullet. So you see that there is an easy looking for uh, find the data of the list name. And after, I will cut all the list name like this. Select the tick. Next, right click on tick here, and click on cut. And after, click on insert tab. Next, click on smart add. And after, click on this button, and choose this one style, and click OK. The outlines of the structure will show on your side. And next, you need to press all the list name that you cut. Okay, you just right click on this box, and next, click on paste this function and next and is to remove the tick box that not show the name of list stuff you just click on text box and next press key delete this one is same click on box and press key delete and after if you want to move style of the smart art you can click on this button and put to the right next if you want to edit the text size you can click on this line and next, click on home and choose size that you want to show. After you change the font size, I would like to show you how to change color style in this structure. So first, click on design tab. Next, click on change color. And after, choose one style color that you want to display. Okay, now the structures will change color after you set it. So now if you want to make the text box is a ledger. You can click on text box or the name in the box here. And after, click on format. Next, click on this button. After you click, the text box will show bigger. And you can try with the stuff also to make the text box is small. You can do like this. Select the all stuff name. Next, Click on format and click on smaller button. One more I want to share to you about how to make the line of the staff name to show the boss or between the line. How can I do? Okay, so first you can click on the managers or PC of the staff. Next, click on design and after click on layout and click on boost so the display of the result is mean that the stuff of tick box will show between the line and you can try with the old stuff to make this tie after you change the layout i want to show you how to close and show the list of name stuff so first i click on this button to close the name of stuff and after, I want to show that. 
So I just click on this button, and after the result is mean that it will show the listener box at the left structure. Okay, the last one sharing. So I want to add one more stuff, and the stuff under so is now controlling. So I just click on this box and next press key enter. So I will got one more stuff box here. You can edit or enter the name of stuff in the box. Okay, with the create added structures to use smart art in Microsoft Word, I finish. And sorry with my, I would like to say sorry if I have any mistake. Thank for watching. See you next video.